Hello everyone, welcome to my video for your Chi.com with your weekly tarot card reading for February 19th, 2018 through February 26th, 2018. And I'm currently traveling. I'm at the beach, so I do not have my regular camera set up uh, with me, and that's because I promised my husband that I would downsize my packing. So we can blame it on him but he'll only know if he watches this week's video. So there's a little joke in there for you. Um, but nevertheless, the show must go on because I made a commitment and a promise back in May of 2017 that I would be doing this every single week and here I am bringing you the messages. And I pulled four cards this week out of my regular deck because the top card, Love Begins, flew out of the deck and we all know when that happens, it has to be incorporated in the reading because it is the message for this week. So this, I was guided to say to you that the top card, Love Begins, which means your cup is about to overflow with joy and happiness, is the overall theme for the week. Um, and that is combined with the card for midweek, the heart chakra which we will get to in just a second. Um, but it's sort of bringing that love message home um, to you. And we could all use a little more love in our life right now. I'm certain of it. Especially when you consider the events that have just happened in this last week and the violence and the outrage and people just generally being mean-spirited. Um, and I'm at the beach right now, so I just spent quite a while outside trying to figure out what messages were coming to me regarding the love message this week. And what I got was going back to the messages of my teachers, and Abraham is included in that. And I also follow Ion, too, which are, you know, they call themselves non-physical entities. Um, reminding me and reminding all of us not to focus on the hate that's in this world but to remain in that space and place of gratitude and that even though all of these terrible things are going around in our world and perhaps around us we do not have to succumb to that lower vibration but they're reminding us to wake up in a state of gratitude for the blessings that we have right now. And one of those blessings is protection, particularly when you call on it, like I've taught so many to do. And I will continue to say that in these videos because it works. It's important. Um, and because it works so well, that is something that you can be grateful for every single day. So if we remain in that place and space of gratitude and being thankful for what we already have and not get sucked into the social media arguments back and forth about politics and so forth, you are staying in that highly vibrational mindset. And you will be okay. Not only will you be okay, but you will overcome. And you will be much better off than these people who are constantly fighting each other, arguing over ideas and politics that, by the way, we've been programmed with since we were born. So you will be much better off if you just remain in a state of gratitude and be open-minded. All right, so on to the messages this week. I've done, I'm done with my rant now. The card for Monday, Tuesday is Crown Chakra. We've had this before. This means that you're getting messages from the divine and from your guardian angels and your guides, your helpers, that comes in the form of ideas that are dropped into your thoughts randomly. 
uh, these ideas are, are such that you should call someone that you haven't talked to in a while. Um, networking. It could be an aha moment. A light bulb could go off in your mind and you could have an answer to a problem that you have been thinking about. And you definitely need to follow that guidance because it is an answer to your request. It is an answer to your question. It is an answer to your prayer. The card midweek, the heart chakra, is the love connection card. So this means that you may meet someone that you have an instant heart connection with. Um, or it may mean that you are in a relationship with someone and you have solidified that heart connection with someone and it directly relates to love begins. You could also be doing something that you love, whether that's work, career, hobby, or otherwise. Either way, it's a great message, folks. And then the end of the week, the weekend, we have suffering in silence and we've gotten, we've, I pulled this card many times in the last year. And this card means that you're doing all the hard work by yourself and that you do need to ask for help and that help is available to you as long as you specify precisely what you need help with. And delegate. It's very important, especially if you have children. Your children can do more than they're currently doing and they will be willing to help you. You just need to describe how you need that help. So thank you for watching everyone. If you like this video and it has helped you, please like and share my video. If you would like a personal reading with me, please send me a private message on Facebook or you can email me at tarotbyphone at gmail.com. Have a great week.